I'm going to read to you now a story from This Story Can Be Shared, which is a, a group of stories, uh, they're collected items concerning the events from the opioid epidemic, which is still going on, and they feature the words of those who have suffered. This is account number two. First of all, I want to tell you about my beautiful, amazing son, Ryan. He was the most loving, kind person you would ever want to know. He was always there for whoever needed him and was always willing to help someone in need. Ryan had a heart of gold. If you knew him, you loved him. He was that kind of person. Ryan was voted most valuable player on his football team in his junior year. That was 2008 in Jefferson Township, New Jersey. Unfortunately, he had a back injury during the summer of training and couldn't play for his senior year. He had several epidurals and his doctor prescribed pain medication. Ryan became depressed and told me he didn't want to be in his school anymore and wanted to go back to his old school. He felt he wasn't treated the same because he felt left out. I told him, you only have one year left and you will probably never see most of these people after you graduate. Who was I to say I was just trying to help him? He was depressed, especially since he could not play his senior year, although he tried. Jefferson Township didn't win the state championship that year, but Ryan was not a part of it. I can't really tell you. I can't really tell you when he started using, but I think it was shortly after. One of Ryan's good friends called his dad to let him know he was using heroin and and knew he really wanted to stop, but he couldn't. And even though I was re- divorced from Ryan's father, we stuck together and fought so hard to help him. He was in and out of so many rehabs. He struggled so much and really wanted to get better, and and finally he did for over two years. We were so proud of him living on his own in Florida. He was working hard as an electrician and doing so many side jobs. He was going to be a, going to the gym, doing everything right. But for whatever reason, on the night of June 1st, he ended up with the worst people he could have and he passed away on June 2nd. One of his so-called friends that was with him on that night said he was his friend, but I don't believe that because when someone is your friend, you look out for them. And he didn't. They also stole all of his valuables. I am writing this in, so, in honor of my son Ryan and so many that have passed away and who are still struggling. I want to find a way that we can stop this horrible epidemic disease. There are so many of our young children dying from it, and it needs to stop now. I keep hearing more and more sad stories about it since people know my story. No one should ever have to go through the pain of losing a loved one because of this. I will never be the same, and my heart is forever broken without my beautiful Ryan, who should still be with me.